and I am Dr. Corey King, DC. I'm a board eligible clinical nutritionist and I am also a board certified doctor of integrative medicine. I am the owner of the Tustin Chronic Condition Center and I specialize in working with patients who are struggling with chronic dizziness, vertigo, and balance disorders. Now you're watching this video for one reason and one reason only. You're trying to get answers because the only thing that really matters are the results that you are achieving with your health condition. And if you are seeing your primary care physician, your ENT, your alternative practitioner, but yet you are still have not achieved those health results that you know that you, de you deserve, well then keep watching this video. With chronic dizziness, vertigo, and balance disorders, there are multiple facets that could be affecting your condition. The top six are this. The number one is, do you have an autoimmune condition? We see this a ton in my clinic, over 90% of our patients in our clinic today are struggling or were struggling with an autoimmune condition when they first walked in. A majority of them didn't even know they had an autoimmune condition. How would you know? Your doctors must run the right test. But you can have an autoimmune condition affecting what is called your cerebellum, which is the foundation of your brain that controls things like balance and coordination. And it also controls your vestibular nerve that's going into your inner ears that could be affecting your dizziness and your vertigo. Number two is we will look at things like your blood sugar and blood sugar dysregulation because that is going to affect your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands are extremely important for chronic health conditions because they release some very inflammatory hormones that affect how well the brain is able to function. They will cause that brain fog that a lot of patients come in telling me about. The focus isn't there, the mental clarity is not there, short-term memory is not there. They have an overwhelming sense of physical stamina going down. Cortisol is extremely important. Your adrenal glands, they also control your sleep center. So if you're not sleeping too well, your adrenal glands are a big part of that. Number three is we look at things like anemia. Eight to nine times out of ten, a chronic dizziness or vertigo or balance disorder patient will come into my clinic and the doctors have not even ran a full anemia panel. There's 12 types of anemia. So if you have an anemia and you can't get oxygen and get nutrients to your brain to allow it to function, that could be one of the main reasons why you're still struggling with your symptoms. Number four is we're going to look at your gastrointestinal system. Why? Why would I look at your GI system if you're having dizziness and vertigo? Because that's 80%, 80%, 80 of your immune system. So if you are still struggling with symptoms and your body is not healing, we must look at your stomach, look at your gut, and look at your colon for anything that's preventing your body from healing appropriately. Number five is we're going to look at chronic inflammation. Inflammation is global, and a lot of times this affects you dizziness, vertigo, and balance disorder patients. Or, 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 excuse me, especially peripheral neuropathy patients. That's when you're starting to lose the feeling in your toes and your feet and your fingers and your hands, or you might be getting the burning and the tingling sensation in your feet. If you're losing sensation in your feet, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to maintain proper balance. The number one cause of death in seniors is falls. If you're losing sensation in your feet, we must figure out why. And the last priority that we look at on all of our patients is how well your liver and your gallbladder are doing. Because your gallbladder is responsible for lowering your cholesterol. We will see a lot of dizziness and vertigo and balance disorder patients coming in on statins because they've got very high cholesterol and their gallbladder is not working efficiently and their liver is not working efficiently. If they're putting you on a statin, we will see a lot of times patients with statins are also developing things like Alzheimer's disease and peripheral neuropathy. I'll talk to you about Alzheimer's disease when you come into the clinic because that is what my grandfather suffered. Okay. These are the six priorities that we look at on every single one of your patients because if your doctors are missing even one piece of your health puzzle, that could be the reason why you're not achieving the health results that you deserve. If this is starting to make sense and you're going, gosh, 
My doctors really, they're not even scratching the surface. What Dr. King just explained to me, nobody's gone over that with me. I highly encourage you, fill out the information below on the form, click submit. A staff member will be in contact with you within 48 hours to schedule your consultation in the clinic and they'll walk you through every step of the process. I am Dr. Corey King. I highly look forward to seeing you here in the clinic and let's do one thing and let's improve the quality of your life.